Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students. How are you? I hope you will be fine. This is Cambridge Primary Mathematics Learners Book 6. And today we are going to start with exercise 1.2. Uh, since we are done with the place value of decimal numbers, now we are going to learn how to round up the decimal numbers okay so it's very simple very easy let's start with exercise 1.2 where we are going to learn how to um, round off any of the decimal place given okay so in question number one it says round these decimals to the nearest whole number what does it mean it means if we have to round the numbers to the nearest whole number in all these numbers we have to remove the decimal places whole number means there is no decimal out there so we have to keep the whole number as it is that is the last unit digit would remain on its place and we have to remove all the decimal places but there's one more thing that we have to account for that we have to look for the digit right after the decimal uh, whole number what is the first digit after the whole number? It's the tenth place. Okay, that is the first decimal place. The first digit after the decimal. We have to look for it. If it is a special digit, then we will add 1 into the whole number. If it's not a special digit, then the whole number would remain the same. How? Let me show you. Let's start from the very first step. The very first step is to round it up to the whole number. So we have to look at what is the whole number. It's 4. It's 7, it's 2, it's 7. So we are going to write it as 4, 7, 2 and 7. Okay, but this is not it. We have to look for the digit right after the whole number, which is the very first decimal place. 0, 8, 5 and 4. Okay, so if the rounded digits are the special digits, special digits means if they are between 5 and 9, then what are we going to do? We will add 1 into the whole numbers. If it's not a special digit that is, is between 0 and 4, then I am going to keep it as it is. Okay? Then the, the this number would be the answer. If we do not have the special digit, these are the special digits. Okay? So let's see where do we have a special digits. 0? No. So it's going to be 4. 8? Yes, it is. So we are going to add 1 into it. 5, yes it is, so we are going to add 1 into it. 4 is not a special digit, so it remains the same. So this would be 8 and this would be 3. So 4.09 rounded to the nearest whole number is 4. 7.89 rounded to the whole number is 8. 2.55 rounded to the whole number is 3. 7.45 rounded to the whole number is 7. You see how easy it is. Now let's move to exercise 1.2 question number 2. Leo bought a book costing 14.65. What is the cost of the book to the nearest dollar? Nearest dollar means to the nearest whole number. Nearest dollar means nearest whole number. They will use different terms. Try to figure out that which digit are they talking about. Nearest whole number means 14.65. We are going to remove 65. So it would be 14 dollars. But what do we have to do? We have to look for the first decimal place that is 6. Since it's a special number, so we have to add 1 into it and the answer would be 15. Okay, so what is the cost of the book to the nearest dollar? It's $15 if it was $14.65. And you can see that yes, it is more than half of $14. So it would be $15 after rounding it up. That's all. Okay. Now, in question number 3, they are talking about which of these numbers rounds to 5 when rounded to the nearest whole number. What do we have to do? We just have to round up all these numbers to the nearest whole number and we have to check that which of these numbers change to 5 after rounding up it up. Okay. So, what do we have to do? We have to look for the first decimal place. Since it's 4.3, so it would be 4. 4.05 so it would be 4 4.5 so it would be since it is 0.5 a special digit in the first decimal place so we are going to add 1 into 4 it becomes 5 so this one 5.05 since it's a 0 over here so it remains 5 so yes this one also then 4.55 again this is 5 so when we are going to round it up it becomes 5 5.35 again this is 0.3 so it's not a special digit it would remain 5 as it is so again this is also 5 after after rounding it up 5.5 since this is 0.5 so we have to add 1 into it it becomes 6 
so this is not 5 out after rounding it up to the whole number 5.53 again this is 5.5 so it would be 6 after rounding it up so only these four numbers would turn to 5 whole when we are going to round it up to the nearest whole number you see what did we do we simply looked at the first decimal place figured it out that if it is a uh, special number or not if it was a special number we just added one into the whole number and if it became five then it uh, fall into the category of what is given in the question so these are the four numbers which will turn to five when rounded up to the whole nearest whole number then we have question number four which says round these numbers to the nearest tenth okay so what do we have to do we have to do the same that we have done so far for rounding it up to the uh, rounding up a number to the nearest whole number now since we have to round the numbers to the nearest tenth so what do we have to do we have to keep the first decimal place 4.5 7.8 2.3 9 9.0 okay this is how we have to do it now since we have to round the number to the nearest tenth and tenth is the first decimal place so this would be the answer but not the final one now what do we have to do we have to look for the hundredth digit and figure out if it's a uh, special digit or not okay earlier when we will we were rounding up the number to the nearest whole number we were looking for the tenth digit now since we have to round up the tenth digit so we will look for the hundredth digit since it is two one five and seven 2 and 1 are not special digits but 5 and 7 are so what are we going to do we will add 1 into 0 0.3 that is we are going to add 0 0.1 0 0.1 okay what does it mean we just have to add 1 into the last ever digit so that is 3 and since it's 10th so we are going to add 0 0.1 and we are going to get 2.4 and here we are going to get 9.1 but here they will remain the same 4.5 7.8 2.4 9.1 basically what are we doing we are simply adding one into the last ever digit 3 plus 1 is 4 so it becomes 2.4 0 plus 1 is 1 so it becomes 9.1 that's all now let's do the same thing in question number 5 because they say which of these numbers rounds to 7.5 when rounded to the nearest tenth. So we have to do the same that we have done in question number 4 and then we have to check that which of the uh, numbers are changing to 7.5 and which of them are not. So to round them up to the nearest tenth we are going to keep them as 7.3, 7.0, 7.5, 7.8, 7.4, 7.5 and 7.5 okay now in the next step what do we have to do we have to look for the next digit that is the hundredth one 5, 5, 1, 5, 9, 6, 3 so where do we have a special digits here, here it's not a special digit so it will remain as it is here here and then here but not here so this will remain as it is so out of these two where do we have a 7.5 it's here and in the last one now let's check for the remaining ones so where do we have a special digit what do we have to do we have to add one into the last digit 3 plus 1 0 plus 1 5 plus 1 4 plus 1, 5 plus 1. So when we are going to add 1 into the 10th digit, what are we going to get? It becomes 7.4, it becomes 7.1, it becomes 7.6, and it becomes 7.5, and it becomes 7.6. So in which cases are we getting 7.5? In the first one, we are getting 7.4, so this is not 7.5 then again 7.1 this is not 7.5 then here we have 7.6 no then 7.5 we are getting over here so this number will turn to 7.5 when we round it up to the nearest tenant and again this one is 7.6 not 7.5 so this is not the one that is uh, becoming 7.5 so it's the three numbers that is 7.51 7.49 and 7.53 
these three will change to 7.5 after rounding them down to uh, the 10th places okay now let's move to question number six which says correct all the statements that are false 3.04 is 3 when rounded to the nearest whole number okay if it's 3.04 when we will round it up to the nearest whole number, we are going to remove them. And then we will look for the tenth place since it's 0. So it would become 3. Yes, very good. And the nearest tenth. And when we will round it to the nearest tenth, so what would it be? Be it, it would be 3.0. And since the next digit is also not special, so it remains same, that is 3.0. So 3.04 is 3 when rounded to the nearest whole number, but when it is rounded to the nearest tenet, it would be 3.0. It won't be 3 when it is rounded to the nearest tenet. It's not 3. We are not going to write 3 after rounding it up to the nearest tenet. We have to write 3.0. We have to show the zeros even if we are rounding the numbers to any special places. To the nearest whole number, yes, correct. Because we have 0 at the 10th place, so it would remain 5 as the whole number. And 5.0 when rounded to the nearest 10th. And yes, of course, it would be 5.0 because the 100 digit is also not a special number. So it would remain 5.0. This is absolutely true. Okay. Then the part C. 6.95 is 7 when rounded to the nearest whole number. So it would be 6. We will remove the decimal places and we will look for the tenth place which is 9. And since it's a special number, so we will add 1 into it and it becomes 7. Yes, correct. When rounded to the nearest whole number. And 6.9 when rounded to the nearest tenth. When we will round it to the nearest tenth, so it would be 6.9. And then we will look for the 100 digit. Since it's 5 over here, so we have to add 1 into 9. And then it would become 6.9 plus 1 is equal to 7.0. So it would be 7.0 to the nearest tenth. When rounded to the nearest tenth, not 6.9. So half part is correct, but half of the other half is not correct. So it would be 6.95 is 7 when rounded to the nearest whole number. And 7.0 when rounded to the nearest tenth is the correct statement. Okay. Now in question number 7, what do we have to do there? Saying... Uh, round these measures to the nearest tenth. Okay, so since we have to round these to the nearest tenth, so so the first one would be to the nearest tenth is 55.5, the second one is 12.2, and the third one is 34.4. Now we will have to check for the 100 digit, it is 5, so we have to add 1 into it. It is 2, so we it will remain as it is. It is 5, again we have to add 1 into it. So it turned out to be 55.6 and it will become 34.5. So the first one would be 55.6 liters. Second one is 12.2 meters, 35.5 kilograms when rounded to the nearest tenth. Now the next question is very interesting. Choose the smallest number from this list that rounds to 1. Okay. So we have to figure out that which of them is the smallest and uh, which of them is the greatest. So if we look at these numbers, we have to, what do we have to do to compare them? Always remember when we have to compare the whole numbers, there must be an equal number of decimal places. Here we have two decimal places, here we have two decimal places, here we have only one. So we will add a zero over here. Here we have two decimal places, here we have one, so we will add a zero to make two decimal places. Here we have two decimal places and here we have only one decimal place. So all of these numbers are greater than zero because it is whole zero and they are having some decimal. Even if they are zero, so they have some decimal place. So all of them is uh, greater than zero. Now we have to choose the smallest number from this list that rounds to one. Okay, so first of all, we have to round the, these numbers to the nearest whole number. First of all, let us round all these numbers. So since we have to round them up to the nearest whole number, so it becomes 0. This is also 0. 
this is 1 this is 1 this is 0 this is 1 now what do we have to do next we have to check for the first decimal place is it a special number or not so it is a special number it is a special it is a special it's not so let's just leave it this is a special number and it's not okay so in these since all of them are special numbers so we are going to add one into it add one into it add one into it and add one into it so it becomes one one two one as it is one and one okay Achha. if you look at two so since it's not one anymore so we are not going to take this one now let's talk about the remaining ones when we talk about the remaining ones we are having 0 0.55 0 0.99 then 1.45 then 0 0.50 and then 1.05 out of these five numbers we have to check that which of them is the smallest among them since 1.45 and 1.05 are both greater than 0 point anything so we are going to cut them out okay so we are left with only three numbers 0 0.55 0 0.99 and 0 0.50 so which of them is the smallest of course 0 0.50 is the sm smallest among all it means when we will round up 0 0.50 to the nearest whole number we will get one so this is the correct answer because 0 0.55 and 0 0.99 are greater than 0 0.50 so they are not the smallest one and 1.45 and 1.05 although they turn to one but they are greater than one so they couldn't be the uh, right answer and if we talk about 1.90 so it turned out to be 2 when rounded up to the whole number so the correct answer would be 0 0.5 now in question number 9 it says jasper says 7.97 is 8 when rounded to the nearest whole number yes it would be 7 and since 0 0.9 is a special number so we have to add 1 into it and it becomes 8 so that's correct and is also 8 when rounded to the nearest 10th no, it won't be 7, 8 because when we round uh, any number to nearest 10, we have to put the first decimal place as well. So, it would be 7.9 initially but since it's 7 over here, so we have to add 1 into 9 and it becomes 8.0. It won't be only 8 when rounded to the nearest 10, it would be 8.0. So, Jasper is incorrect. The correct answer to this would be 8.0 when rounded to the nearest 10 and not 8. So, always remember when you are rounding any number to the nearest tenth, you have to write 0 even if it's a 0. If you are getting the uh, 0 on the tenth place, then also you have to show it. Okay. So, we have completed exercise 1.2 over here. Inshallah, we are going to start with the uh, next chapter in the next video. Until then, take care. Do subscribe to my channel if you are new and don't forget to share it with your friends. Allah Hafiz.